Hi, thanks for joining me on another episode of Nom Nom Books. Today we have Live the Flat Fairy Tales, uh, where you search through eight fabulous fairy tale scenes. And it's another one from the publisher Pretty Books. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so when you flip it open, Little Red Riding Hood, Find the Cottage in the Woods. Now in this book, the flats are not very obvious, right? So you got to look for them. So you feel around and hmm, there's a flap here that says, It's the wolf, quick, close the flap. So you close the flap. There are flaps here, don't stray from the path, little red, there's a wolf about. And then this one says, your grandma will love these flowers, says the mouse. And then over here, you find the cottage, but where's grandma? There she is, right? And then here's another little flap, it's about twit too. now find the woodcutter. Then when you open this flap, oh, here's the woodcutter, he's on his way to save the day. So that two pages is just about you know, all that you get for Little Red Riding Hood, right? So, the thing about this book is it presupposes that your kids know the book. If they don't know the book, or they don't know the story, then they're going to be a bit confused. Uh, this one is Thumbelina. Okay, you flip open. Oops, not this way, this way. Oh, let's do this one first. This one opens. Huh, not so easy to open. Oh, sorry, it opens this way. You found her, right? Um, over here, here is Mole who wanted to marry Thumbelina and over here, these are fish friends who released her and something over here, you found the nest of her best friend Swallow right. and over there is Little Prince who Thumbelina is about to marry she will become queen of the flowers and be happy at last Okay, this one is about Jack and the Beanstalk. Giant Beanstalk, climb it Jack, find the heart, bring it back. So you open this one, you get the goose that lays the golden eggs. This one is about Jack's magic beans that are growing to a towering beanstalk. This one is about the giant's bag of gold, Jack's mum will be pleased. Over here, what do we have? Let's see, we have beautiful golden egg, Jack will be rich. Right, giant harp singing has called the giant and woken him up. Then you have fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. And the giant is coming. Quick, hurry home, Jack. Get an axe to chop down the beanstalk. So what they have is little bits of the story that allow your kids who know the stories to piece them together. Okay, this is um, Hansel and Gretel. Right, so this is of course the witch's house. And is she a kindly old lady or is she a nasty witch? Over here, her brother Hansel is trapped in a cage. Help me, Gretel! Over here... Look out, look out, there's a witch about. And somewhere over here... Hang on, where's the next flap? Oop, can't find it. Oop. I feel something here. Oh, there it is, silly me. Okay, here. It's a fabulous feast to fatten up children, but Gretel has a plan. She tricks the witch and helps Hansel to escape. And here, Hansel has been clever. He's dropped a breadcrumb trail to find their way out of the forest. And over here, they've actually run off. Seven dwarves in the night. Can you find Snow White? There's Snow White. It's one of the dwarves fast asleep. What do you think his name is? And over here, don't open the door to anyone, Snow White, the dwarves warn her. Over here, you have Seventh Dwarf having a sneaky snack. This is the flap. Some of the dwarves are busy dig, dig, digging for gold. And I believe here's the witch. Yeah, that's not a dwarf, it's the jealous queen disguised as a poor peddler woman. Will Snow White eat her poisoned apple? Okay, this one is vertical, right? So you've got Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. Right, if you can see, there's Rapunzel. And then there's a flap here about Mother Gothel. And then here's a flap about the prince. Okay, this one is Cinderella. So Cinderella, here's the stepmother and the sisters, here's the fairy godmother, her scuffed boots turn into glass slippers, 
Be home by midnight, warn the mice. And over here, she transforms. Or rather, the fairy godmother transforms her ride. Okay. But this one spans two sets of pages. So, excitement builds, tonight's the night. Nothing here, no flaps here, right? And then you have a giant sort of flip out page here where you have the ball, the ballroom's full of joy and laughter and they all live happily ever after. So like I said at the beginning of this video, this is a book by Pretty Books. Pretty Books, which my kid likes. Pretty Books makes pretty good books. So this book is good for kids, maybe about two years on or so. But the thing about these books is that, like I said, they presuppose that your kid kind of knows the story because the bits and pieces won't give your kid a real idea of what the story actually is. So you might want to have that in mind when uh, purchasing this for your kid. But I think overall the illustrations are very good. The flaps are quite interesting and it gives your kid a flavour of how the books are. So I would give this maybe about 3.5 out of 5 stars. Okay, thanks very much for joining me. See you in another episode. Bye!